Are we in Scotland again? I actually looked up from the window and there seems to be like a funeral, actually, or something like that. There are like people, uh, so yeah. Not a very positive start for the day, for such a sunny day. But I'm leaving London tonight. Well, not tonight, I'm leaving tonight to the airport and tomorrow morning I have my flight. But to finish everything on like a positive note, today we are going, me and Nick, my flatmate, we are going to a stand-up by Dylan Moran, who is like this Irish actor. If you guys ever watched a show called Black Books, then you'll know what I'm talking about. And if you didn't, I highly recommend it because it's just hilarious, it's awesome. And he plays the, the, the leading role in that show. And I've been a big fan of him for like years. And this is the first time I'm seeing him. Funnily enough, if you've been watching my vlogs for a while, uh, you would know that I'm going to concerts and shows and like all kinds of events all the time. But tonight... Alright, but the show that we go into tonight, we actually bought the tickets even before we moved to London. It was like back in August. So, uh, it's kind of funny. Teenagers sucking the lifeblood out of everybody else around them. Where is the escapism in that? Don't watch anything. Because they don't want to deal with their own depression. That's what you're offered. Distraction or depression. Or distraction from your own depression. And you take it. At least we can talk about depression now. You know, that used to be a huge taboo. Now I can talk about it because of all the lovely celebrities who came and talked about their treatments and therapies and so on. We can all talk about it. Although I did notice when all those celebrities were talking about their conditions, I felt the exact same way. I feel when my own friends talk about their depression. I'm listening thinking, mm, mm, you don't know anything. <laughs> about depression, you have no idea. My self-loathing is much worse than yours. <laughs> What's that you say? Face down in a pool of Cocoa Pops all day Wednesday? I wish I had the strength for that. <laughs> Your pain is always worse than everybody else's. This is true. When I came, people still made fun of Irish voices. I came as an immigrant. 20 years ago, whatever it was, in London, people made fun of Irish voices. They don't do it so much now, but they did then. You know? People would go, oh, potato skin is when I was and right in, and all that stuff. And I didn't say anything. I didn't, not out loud, of course, inside. I was going, cut me wanker, oh, I'm a cut me wanker. I live in London, I do fuck it all, I'm a cut me wanker. And I didn't say it. I've lived so long in Britain now, when I meet Irish people, I take the piss out of their Irish folks. <laughs> because they say to me, what should we do, where should we go? I say, ah, it doesn't matter, you'll end up in the pub anyway, won't you? <laughs> I do it in my own house. I sit down at the dinner table, I say, I really need more potatoes, thanks very much. Because I know my own family are going to do it to me if I don't get in first. <laughs> son who's 12, he comes home and he goes, Dad, look at these apps, look at these games, they're amazing. I grab it off him, I say, get out of here. Go and have a fight. Climb a tree, get into trouble. Don't forget this stuff, it can steal your life. Three hours later, it's me going, ha 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 ha! on candy flaps or whatever the fuck it is. <laughs> Recently, I looked up, it was one in the morning. I thought, oh my God, what am I doing with my life? It's one in the morning. Glaciers are melting. Species are being wiped out. Somewhere, somebody is having a Swiss roll. <laughs> what am I doing? And then I realized I've got to get to level 19 or it will all be totally meaningless. <laughs> so there's no... There's no, um, there's no way out of the, uh, of the fear, is what I'm saying. There's no way around it. And um, you have to accept that and be grateful for what brings people together. And in this country, even though everybody's very disunited uh, and suspicious of one another, still there are certain things that are just too important uh, to bicker about and they, and they do actually bring everybody together. I'm talking about making fun of the Germans, and, and <laughs> the, which, which still goes on, and I find kind of amazing, actually, in 2015, but it does still happen here. And British people say quite weird things about German people. They say, oh, they have no sense of humour. Now, that's just not true. What is true about Germany is that it's very hard to eat there if you don't eat pig, okay? <laughs> the whole country runs on pig, and I, I'm, I'm, I don't eat anything that's three letters long. And I was walking around Berlin, starving, starving, because they're crazy about pig and salami and all that stuff. If you have a cup of tea and sit down with that, people will leap from the shadows and grind pork into your tea. <laughs> 
So the show was really fun as always, really cool, really interesting. Um, and now we're home and in about an hour I'm gonna get picked up by a cab and I'm gonna head out to airport. Which, by the way, will be the fourth time that I will use a car in London. It's like 4 o'clock in the morning. Which means that I get to see this. And that doesn't look very bad. I just got to the airport. Uh, I'm gonna drop my bag in like 30 minutes when it opens. And uh, then I'm gonna fly, I suppose, on an airplane. That's what you do at the airports, guys. So I'm done with all the formalities and now I'm waiting for the boarding. It's gonna be in like an hour or something. And I thought this is a good time to sort of say goodbye. Well, not goodbye to making videos, but goodbye to this series of videos. Uh, so, music. I don't really know where to start, but uh, first of all, again, I'd really like to thank everyone who subscribed who watched my videos, who liked or disliked, commented, didn't comment, whatever that was, just thanks very much. I never really aimed at having a lot of subscribers or anything like that. And having a little more than 100 subscribers seems sort of, it still seems like an achievement for some reason. Maybe it shouldn't, but it still does. And before I started making these videos and while I was making them, I never intended to um, I never intended to gain a large audience. I didn't expect hundreds and thousands of people to subscribe and to watch every day. Definitely not. Uh, and it didn't happen. And it might never happen, or it might in the future. You never know. But that's not the important thing. The important thing in this case is that I just did something that I enjoyed doing. And I didn't start doing it out of the blue, like just like out of nowhere, but I started doing it because I felt like I have something to share with people, something that might be helpful to people, something that they might enjoy. Unfortunately, there were people who enjoyed some of the things that I did in my videos and they were kind enough to click that subscribe button and just watch my videos. It's been an amazing experience. Sometimes hard, sometimes easy, sometimes weird. But uh, thanks to every single one of you who's been watching at least like one of my videos or if you're watching now. Um, so right now I'm gonna be flying to Dubai for like a week and then I'm flying to my home country to Russia. But before I do this, I just wanted to ask you guys, do you want me to make like a little vlog about Dubai? Because I've been living there for seven years and now I'm going there for like a week. Just let me know in the comments if you'd be interested if I made like a five to 10 minute vlog about Dubai. And just to remind you, I'm not gonna stop making videos. I'm still gonna keep on making videos. It's just now I'm taking like a little break, like a month, uh, give or take. And then I'm gonna start making videos again and I'm not sure what they're gonna be like. But um, I'll make sure to come up with something interesting. And I just hope you will be there to watch them and let me know what you think. Uh, because I honestly, like some of the messages that I got from people that watched my videos were so amazing that I just, I just, yeah. Just to elaborate on this whole year while I've been in London since September, um, it was just so overwhelming and it had its ups and downs, but in general I really enjoyed living there and it genuinely became my favorite city to live in. It's like that I would really love to stay here and I hope I will be able to do that, but I just really enjoyed my time and it was just amazing all the people I met and the people that I met there at the university were just so nice and supportive and kind and welcoming. So if any of you, the people that I study with are watching this right now, thanks to you too. And I just really hope that you guys enjoyed my videos because I really, really tried to make them as good as I could um, and to make them entertaining and informative and to let you know like how it actually is 
to be a student in London and moving from another country, just from a totally different country to that place, to another country, to UK, and to live here, to figure out the bills, to figure out the taxes, to figure out how you move around the city and all of that. So I guess this is a goodbye for now. Um, because in about a month or so, I will start making videos again. Not sure what they're gonna be, as I said, but I hope you guys stick around and see what's coming with me. So I'll see you soon, guys. Bye.